Oh, hello. Let me move this mic directly into my face. Now, welcome to Freeze Flares' Let's Play of Escaped Chasm. Now, I don't exactly know what the game's about, because I found out from Silver Gunner's channel, which is a very yikes statement for me. But uh, let me explain, I do follow Temi on Twitter and stuff, but her making a game was out of left field for me. Anyways, I think I'm blabbering a bit too much, and let me just start playing the game. Sometimes, when I close my eyes, when I let my mind drift, I can feel a world beyond my own. It's vast and beautiful. I can see through the eyes of a girl I admired. However, as my consciousness slips back to me, I remember that this euphoric dream is not real. As I awaken my connection to the world, I slowly fade from its memory. I won't let that world escape me. I will hold on to these fragments of my dreams in any way that I can. Maybe I can never truly reach that world. But maybe one day, I can still become the girl I see in that place. Wow. Gotta say, Temi's starting off pretty damn strong for an RPG Maker game. Um, so I don't exactly know what I'm doing, but I think I get the general idea. Melody looks sickly, he refuses to eat. What should I do? Um, I get the general gist, I think. Um, it's gonna <laughs> be one of those games that makes me cry at the end, somehow. Somehow, some way, I'm gonna cry. I'm already crying, I just read that description. <laughs> Why? Oh my god. Oh, uh, it's your diary. They aren't back today either. When will mom and dad come home? I'm really lonely. Melody isn't doing so well, he won't eat anything for some reason. To pass the time, I've been imagining stories that have become so vivid I nearly forget reality. In these stories, I'm who I always wanted to be, brave, strong, unafraid, living freely, living in a forest of wonders. I even have friends, but at the end of these imaginings, I remember it isn't real. At the end of the day, I have to remember I'm just me. The me who's pathetic, cowardly, the me who is alone. I'm kinda tired. I want to fucking rest after being a de depressed as fuck, but I'm, I'm gonna look around a bit more because, like, that's, that's a bit sour of a note. That's a bit sour of a note to leave off on. Oh, I shouldn't go in there, I, I guess. Because, uh, I don't know, man. I just don't want to go in my parents' room to see uh, them wrestling. Oh! <laughs> Oh no, it is f Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> Your efforts are futile. You weaklings cannot defeat me. <laughs> Surrender and accept your fate. <laughs> At this rate, we're done for. Unless, I'm going to use my power. What? No, it's too dangerous. There's no other way. Whatever you're trying, you stand no chance against me. We'll see about that. <laughs> I'm a fucking... I don't know. <laughs> Grunting while using this risky hidden power. Do our heroes stand a chance? Tune in next time to find out. You were in awe. You love this show. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So, uh, we have to do the other things. We have to do the other things first. Okay. Hmm. 
Then we went over to the notebook, and then, uh... Well, they aren't back today, either. At the end, I'm still me, I'm still... Bull. I'm probably ruining immersion so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna shut up, though, for the, for the cutscene. How, how long did I sleep for? I should look around and see if they came back yet. Honestly, I, I think her I think her parents are dead. I think her snake's dead too, but more importantly, I think her parents are dead. <laughs> oh, I mean, you could just check if your parents are back, but uh, probably not back. I'm just gonna guess. Um, knock, knock. Oh, no response. Your parents are dead. <laughs> So sorry, dude. I feel so bad. I feel so bad. But I don't really. I mean, I, I respect it. I respect it not wanting to go in your your mother's room. <laughs> I don't think I should speak anymore. <laughs> oh, I. Maybe tomorrow. Wait a second. Wait a second. What is that? What's that, though? This is our normal reclining chair. They come back and change the chair. They did a little redecorating while you were gone. I mean, while they were dead. I mean, uh... Oh. That was not the regular that was not the regular the scheduled program I wanted, you know? You dig? What the fuck am I hearing? What? Oh. What? Who are you? Oh, just a visitor. Is there anything I can do for you? Not really, I'm just here to observe. Observe? What are you observing? I'm just here to see what happens. What? What do you mean? Where did he? There was a strange guy in the house today. I couldn't believe my eyes. I wasn't sure if he was real or not. I was a little alarmed at first, but maybe I just imagined him. Now that he stopped moving, I think he's sleeping. When will mom and dad come home? I don't know how I should help him. Maybe they'll be back when I get up. No, they won't.
Uh, well, that was most certainly a thing. That was most certainly. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, you know what? This game is kind of throwing me for a loop. Melody isn't moving anymore. She's still dead. She's as cold as a wedge of cheese. Well, I should try going outside, I think. I think that's the last thing you want to do. <laughs> I don't know. Why is this portrait upside down? I think some serious shit's going down. I honestly think some shit is going down. It's a mirror. It's you! You look cute today. Watch me get like fucking cancelled on Twitter for saying that. It'll happen. It, it could. It could. It, it could happen. There's a lot of weird shit going on. There's too much weird stuff going on. I don't like how this game is moving. It's creeping me out just a bit too much, if you catch my drift. But, hmm. Maybe she'll like some, some sm Is that Gaster? Is that a fucking Gaster? What if, and uh, this is a big, this is a big if, but what if Undertale is related to this game? That'd be crazy. That would be super fucked. Oh, <laughs> what the? What? What's happening? Such a wonderful sight. I recommend you turn back. Uh. He's right. I I should go back. What? What is that? What's going on? I knew I shouldn't have gone outside. What should I do? What should I do? I'm so scared. Where are mom and dad? Where could they be? I hope you guys like my grade A acting. Maybe I should call my parents when I fucking do that. <laughs> oh man. Uh, hello, yes, this is the Mormon service checking to make sure you're still dead. Thanks. Um. Well, you know what? There's nothing else to do. Uh, the parents are gone, so I'm just gonna go outside. And, uh, look for them. You know, I think the game's just really trying to make me not go this way. So I'm gonna go this way. Because, uh, you know what? I, I don't feel like there's anything else to do. Like, there's nothing else for me to do to find the parents. Oh! <clears throat> Uh-oh, back to the lab. <laughs> Wait. No way. Oh my god, that was actually an ending. Okay, well, I guess I'll be right back. Okay, well, um, after that blunder, I figured out that, uh, I figured out that was, that was a really bad choice on my part. <laughs> that was a really bad choice. So now I have to redo everything. But luckily, through the power of YouTube magic, I can just uh, cut to the part where I was before. So, obviously, last time I just assumed... That I had to go out because there's nothing else. There's nowhere else to find the parents. But, uh... Yeah, that was a big yikes on my part. 
That was a really big yikes. I'm going to the mirror because I think there's an Easter egg. And I like Easter eggs. I like... I like Easter eggs. Uh, that That's the end of the story. Just, uh... Maybe I should knock to see if they're home. And now, maybe I progress by reading the diary. Don't know why I didn't do this to begin with, before even trying that. Uh, so yeah, basically, in theory, I'm, I'm fucking stupid. Uh, something's wrong. Everything looked distorted, destroyed. I don't know what to do. Was that what I saw even real? That strange man was there, too. He was looking at the chaos and... Seemed to like it, he told me to turn back and then vanished. Who is he? If I see him again, maybe I should ask him where my mom and dad are. Would he know? Where are my mom and dad? Did they get hurt? Did they need my help? I don't know what to do. My mind's racing, I'm so scared and worried. What should I do? I'm tired again for some reason, why am I so tired? I don't know, man. Depression's a killer. I... I should... There's no music, it's really throwing me off, dude. <laughs> I don't like this, dude. Oh. oh. What's happening? I need to find mom and dad quick. I mean, they're already dead, so... <laughs> <laughs> I will check as a last resort. I'll come back if it's the only place left. It's a family photo of you and... Dude, this is... I didn't think... When I picked up this game, I didn't think it'd be this creepy. I don't know. I don't know, man. Don't make fun of me for, like, getting emotionally emotionally attached to this story. Because I know there's some girls in, that I know that want to fuck Harry Potter. How does that have anything to do with this? Well, it actually doesn't have anything to do with this. But my point still stands. Take the doll with you. <laughs> Is there even a question? I'm going to take the doll. Like, uh... Radio won't turn on. Container full of sugar. I shouldn't eat this. You ate it anyways. <laughs> like how there's like some sort of cataclysmic event going on. She eats the sugar anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna check the mirror. Oh no. I mean, it's just broken. But, uh, spooked her anyways. Well, I guess there's nowhere else to go, so... Uh, gonna check the parents' room. I'm sure I'm ruining everybody's immersion. It's fine. It's, it's okay. I, it's my first let's play. An open journal. The previous pages are all torn out, but the last page... This is... Mom's handwriting. If you find this journal, my little star, I'm sorry. We're gonna go to tell you one last goodbye. I know you haven't found your confidence yet, but I know deep inside a strong and brave girl sleeps. I wish we could have been able to see you all grown up. If you find a way out, please move on without us. I think it's too late for us. I wish with all my heart we could meet again in another time, another place. Please know we love you very much. Whatever happens to us, we'll never forget you. I'm proud to have been your mother. I'm proud of you, my daughter. This is... can't be. No, they must still be somewhere. I can still find them. They need my help. I have to. I have to find them. I... Oh, <laughs> that 
makes me sad, dude. <laughs> this makes me sad. I'm depressed. Is the one dude, is he wearing glasses? Is he wearing a fedora? I don't know, man. I don't care. Let's follow him. Weird dude. It's time for you to face your sins. It's you. It's me. You. Do you know where my parents are? I think you already know the answer. They're gone. To a place they can't willingly return from. No. As things are, you'll never see them again. No! I... No, it's... They're not gone, they can't be. Well... They may be gone from this world, but it isn't too late to save them. Huh? How can that be? I thought you said they were... From this world, yes, there is nothing that can be done. But if you are willing to take a chance, you may be able to find a way to save them. There is a world beyond this one, that you seem to be already somewhat familiar with. A world that you've depicted in these crude drawings of yours. It seems like, because of her, you've established a link to that world. It wouldn't be very hard to create a path for you there. There is a world like that. So it really exists? However, in stepping through this path, you will never return to this life. Can you take the step knowing you may never be able to return? If there's a way to save them, then I have no choices. There is a chance that in doing this, you will slowly lose every attachment you have to this world. I figure most of that doesn't bother you, but what might upset you? is that it includes the memories of your parents. With this risk in mind, will you still take the step? Do you think even without the memories of this world, you will be able to save them? I could lose the memories of mom and dad? No. These memories, they're my everything. Stay behind and you can hold on to your memories forever. In an endless, abyssal chasm. How? How can I save them if I won't remember them? What sort of options are those? Do you? Do you know why all this is happening? Do you know what caused all of it? I believe I do. There's an influence from a large and stable power in a world not too far from here. It's likely that's what's causing this world to collapse on itself. Or perhaps... This world was never stable to begin with. Maybe this world has been unwinding itself from the start. If all this is happening, why are you here? Why do you come to a decaying world? Curiosity. I stumbled upon this small world in my search for someone, the one I suspect caused all of this. Or, I guess the one who may be making the decay of the world accelerate. I was intrigued by this place's miserable fate, came to see the world to its end. I was surprised to find there was anyone left. There isn't much time for you left either, and if you stay here, you too will soon be drawn into the depths of an endless chasm. You find yourself unable to stay awake for very long. Isn't that right? I 
I don't really care either way if you choose to go or not. There's someone I'd like to return to soon, so this will be our last meeting, and your last chance to escape from here. Will you leave this world? I... Yo. I mean, I don't want to get another bad end. <laughs> I... I need to take that chance, so there's a way I can save them? Maybe. Yeah. Deep in my heart, I'll make sure I hold on to their memories. There's no way I'll let myself forget. You've made a wise decision. Step through this door and don't look back. <laughs> Nothing personal. <laughs> Bitch, you <laughs> fucking... <laughs> per perhaps we'll meet again someday. Maybe you'll even get to meet her. Until then, farewell. I think I'm doing the right thing. I have a feeling my dreams and happiness will come true the moment I walk through this door. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Melody. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. I'll never forget you. I didn't take acting classes for nothing. <laughs> oh shit, am I getting the bad- no, okay. <laughs> I thought I was getting the bad ending, dude. Well, I don't know if it's... Oh! It, it, it... Oh! Maybe it's... Maybe it is a bad ending. I have no idea. <laughs> Bye. Temmy Chang. Yo, what's up? Whoa! That was a really good game, dude. I actually liked it. Oh. It was pretty good. The only only thing I really, really did not like about the game. This is gonna... Oh, there's more? I think. Mom and Dad wanted this for me. For me to live on towards a brighter world. <laughs> Still. <laughs> Fucking god dang it. My damn computer. I can't believe my eyes, this outside world before me. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love the art. I love the art so much in this game. Oh my god. That's so cute. That is so cute. Oh. Huh? Anyways, uh. I'm a cat. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep my secrets. Maybe I'll keep my secrets. No, I'll, 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 I'll tell you guys. Wow! Good job! You found the secret room! Hmm. You must have some questions, right? Well, I'm not doing anything particularly important right now, so feel free to ask me anything you'd like. Who are you? I'm Temmie! The creator of this game. I draw, illustrate, pixel, animate, right now I guess. I made sound effects in game using a cute program. Behold. Please hire me. I need work. <laughs> anyway, please ask away. Do you have any more questions? This is directed at you. Insert player name here. How did I know you were insert player name here? Well, I'm pretty awesome if I do say so myself. Why am I a cat? Haven't you always been? Yo, okay, this is actually a banger. What happened to the lonely girl? Who's a handsome demon man? You must be eliminated. Be gone. <laughs> oh, what happened to the lonely girl? It's probably confusing, right? She stepped into a new world. However, because she was influenced from some abnormalities from the decaying world, she turned into a demon. Partially premise for the game I want to make next, but that game is much more ambitious. I don't know how long it will take me. I hope you get to see it someday soon. Anyway, I think she prefers being this way anyway. It really is a new start for her. 
Also, it's very similar to what she always wished to be. It works out. Kind of. <laughs> okay. Who's a handsome devil man? Think of him as an anti-hero. Sort of. Uh, he's not really a good person. I guess in this story he's okay. Who are the characters he's referring to? Who, who are the characters he's referring to? Fuck! The someone he wants to return to is Yoki. She'll be the main character of the game I want to make soon. The character causing everything. You'll find out in one day if I ever finish a game. I hope I do. What else did he want to know? Uh, sir, so is this all to the game? That's it! <laughs> I'm sorry, there's so little. This was just meant to be a test game I made to learn how RPG Maker works, so I could only make the game I actually want to make. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I ended up getting attached to a story more. It made it longer than I, uh, than I wanted. I felt real worried writing a story with this type of tone and theme. Uh... I hope it doesn't upset you too much. I'm sorry if it did. Yo, yo! Oh, here we go, Parabellum on a roll. Howdy children, howdy what? There's about to be a fight. Be gone! <laughs> huh? <laughs> She's straight up dead! <laughs> oh, it's a radio. Oh. A vocal covers some songs playing. Hmm. Familiar doll. Is this? Man, I actually ended up liking. Oh, I'm gonna shut my mouth. It seems as time has passed. Uh, she slowly lost hold of her memories from her last life. However, she's still drawn to the girl she met in her dream. However, maybe for the wrong reasons. Maybe one day she might realize and remember the real reason she's drawn to her. So I guess that is the main character for the next game. But, uh, I mean, it's kind of confusing because she looks really humanoid and then the other one looks really de uh, uh, demonic. And I did not mean to... Oh, no... Do, do, do. Uh oh, here we go. Parabellum on a roll. I do children, I do way. There's about to be a fight. Playing the game fair doesn't quite suit me. I'm about to kick your ass so the charge ain't free. Why does that song work with everything? Oh, it's kind of cute. Oh, it's also kind of cute. Oh, that, I love the art so much, dude. Okay, maybe not that one. But I like all the other art. Well, that seems to be all for the game. I don't... I don't think there's anything else. Uh, maybe... Maybe... I know there's four endings to this game, but I don't really want to do that. So, I'm just gonna... do the outro. Ha <laughs> <coughs> So yeah, that was Escaped Chasm by Temi Chang. The some notes, uh, some stuff that I did not like was uh really high pitched noises because my headphones were really, really. I have really good headphones, uh, but other than that, I really liked the story direction and for what it did. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching the Let's Play. I hope you enjoyed and goodbye, goodbye.